Hi everybody, Tracy Brown. And I thought I would talk about the idea of fitness because like so many of us, we were brought up with this idea that um, an athlete looked a certain way or to be at the gym, um, the quote unquote fit people were the people who were leaner or had more muscle and everybody else was just, was just there trying to achieve that. And so today what I want to talk about is really getting uh, real with ourselves and having a reality check that fitness isn't a look. And um, what might be considered fit for us at 15 or 25 or 35 or 55 or 85 is going to look different. And so I, you know, my clients come to me, they're struggling with, um, following the biggest loser trainers and um, Insta fit girl people on Instagram and um, yeah just these people always posting their physical results of like all the long hours of working out and the food plans they're doing and nobody's sharing the behind the scenes of what it looks like and when I talk to my clients and even I'll share some of my own personal stuff but when I talk to my clients like they're doing all the things that the people recommend and they're freaking miserable like hours of counting or tracking macros or doing workouts when their bodies hurt or are always semi hurt and injured um, isn't actually making them fitter it's just making them more obsessive and miserable not able to go on vacations and just take the time off and be present to where they're at they're instead thinking about I can't miss a workout and I have to pack my my protein bars and my whatever food requirements are to achieve the look food plan you you name the decade and there's been some kind of plan to achieve a certain body style or type and I want to tell you guys that you don't have to do all that for fitness and so redefining what fitness is is honestly your body's ability to um, do things with increasing ease. So being able to like walk up a flight of stairs easier than the first time you did it and being able to um, just do the things you physically wanna do. And that doesn't mean that we can all do the same things physically. I played sports, I played basketball and I could never dunk. It's not gonna happen, I'm 4'11 and do not have any vertical <laughs> at all. So I was never gonna dunk a basketball, but I certainly can't could get fitter so I had better endurance to play good defense or whatever it is I wanted to do. And when I was um, in the gym a lot, um, you know, I don't have a lot of power, just naturally, so, um, that was something even when I worked my hardest, I mean, I'm talking hard and lots of, you know, extensive, honestly, even obsessive workouts. I never got super powerful and it took me many years to get, you know, gain up some strength and it still does. I mean, that's something that's, um, my body's not really built for that naturally. So just because I did certain routines and exercises doesn't mean that I got the advertised look. So I want to, and I'm not even talking about the way you look, I'm talking about just, functionality and so um, we beat ourselves up thinking if I do X Y or Z I'll look or be like so and so and the truth is you probably won't you'll look like maybe um, a fitter version of you which may not be much different but you're able to do more maybe feel more strong in your body and that's the point um, because I think when we go after a look and make that mean something about our fitness level, we're missing the whole point. We're not probably getting fitter. Um, you might achieve some more strength and fitness in doing somebody else's plan, but it's not lasting because you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get burnt out, and it's not enjoyable. So to all of you all who are following all the online people that um, you know have their slogans of like, I'd rather be sweating than not fitting into my pants kind of bull crap, um, stop doing that. That's abusive. That's not the way for lasting feeling good in your body. And there's a more sane way. So if you're interested in more, please you know, contact me. Go to my websites. that will be listed below. Um, and just look at the free gifts. Look at the tools. 
If you feel called to work with me to unhook yourself from obsessive exercise and counting and monitoring and watching 24 seven, um, please contact me. You know, this, this could be a year for you of learning how to do something different and more free. Okay, until next time, take care. Bye.